Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to perform power simulation using Keysight three-phase AC source, which is AC6900 series. As we know, power line stability is very crucial for commercial equipment and consumer electronics to operate properly. However, it is equally important for equipment makers to be able to simulate common power line abnormalities such as power surge and dip for device safety and reliability purposes. The power simulations can be done through the front panel or using the PathWave software. This power simulation is applicable to all the AC6900 series. First, let me show you how to perform power simulation via the front panel. So here I have the AC6903L AC source and a PA2203A integral vision power analyzer. Make sure the AC6903L and the PA2203 are connected properly. On the AC6903L front panel, press meter button to go to meter view. On meter view, set AC voltage of phase 1 to 150 volt and frequency to 50 hertz. Then, press advanced simulation. On this page, you will be able to configure the time and voltage as you need. Now, let us turn on the simulation. Here on the simulation menu, you can choose to set the priority to positive or negative. You may choose to configure the T1 type to either time or angle. Also, you can change the T5 type to time or cycle. Once the simulation has been turned on, you will be able to see SIM in white font on the meter view. This indicates that the simulation is turned on. Now, let us proceed to set the simulation settings. I'm going to set the loop to 100 times. To run the simulation, turn on the output and press run sim on the front panel. Check out the waveform on the power analyzer. On the meter view, you'll notice that the sim will be in green font indicating that the simulation is running. Now, let us do the same using the Pathway software. I'm using the BV0028B Pathway Bench View AC Source software, which includes avionics application. On the software, you will be able to see the power simulation on the menu bar. When you click on power simulation, you can see the sample waveform with various settings like time and voltage whereby you can configure the waveform according to your settings. Lastly, click output off to on and then click on start power sim to run the power simulation. Again, you will be able to see the waveform on the power analyzer. That's all for today. Stay tuned for the next session. I hope you enjoyed and thanks for watching.